In previous two modules, we discussed the storage systems and indexing. In the storage module, we learned how disk-oriented database management systems store data on disk and how they retrieve it from disk when they need to work with it and write it back to disk when it has modifications. In the indexing module, we learned how we can improve the disk access with auxiliary data structures called indexes. Indexes can help improve the performance of data operations by helping specify the location of records on the data file. We learned the cost of operations and that each index structure and file organization works better for certain operations. In this module, using the knowledge we have gained in the previous two modules, and with a quick review on our relational algebra, we are going to discuss how database management systems process queries, how they optimize and plan their execution, and how, given the query plan, a query is actually executed. We can represent the operations performed in a database management system during query processing using three main steps. First, parsing the query and coming up with initial logical query plan. This happens in Query Parser. During the parsing step, a written query is converted to a parse tree. Then, that parse tree is turned to a tree expression of relational algebra, which we call an initial logical query plan. Second part is Query Optimizer. Query Optimizer within itself has two main steps logical optimization, and physical optimization. The logical query plan is derived with applying relational algebraic logic and rewriting the logical query plan for possible enhancement of the performance. But remember, when discussing SQL, we mentioned it is a declarative language, meaning a SQL query tells us what to do but not how to do it. What data do we need, but not how to get it from the database? This means that a database management system should decide and perform what part as well. So by bringing in the details of data and working on how this plan is going to be performed on the stored data, we arrive at physical query plan. The physical query plan is then passed to the evaluation engine that runs the physical query plan on data. Note that this sequence is representative, meaning that not all database management systems follow exactly the same steps, especially in smaller building blocks that we will discuss later. But this could be seen as a general guideline. Knowing the general steps involved in query processing, we are going to divide our discussion into three different parts. In the first part, which is mainly introductory, we will first learn about some of the preliminary tasks, such as parsing and generating initial logical query plan. Then, we will review our relational algebra and discuss how we can transform relational expressions to alternative forms with the same expression results. We will also review basic numeration and how we can estimate cost of operations. In the second part, we focus on physical query plans and the what question. We will review the query execution models and algorithms. In the last part, we discuss how we arrive at that query plan. In this section, which is the query optimization, we will use the information we have gained in the first two parts and discuss how we rewrite our logical query plans, how we model the performance and cost of operations needed for the query, and how we enhance the query performance based on logical and physical plan information.